Hi everyone, Virginia here. I'm doing a video response for Miranda, who is Miss Liberty 25. She is having a challenge for an altered project using lace and trim. The winner is going to receive a $25 gift certificate for an Etsy store, A Thing for Bling, who is uh, Cynthia's store. You have to either do a video response or you have to like the Facebook page, A Thing for Bling, and you have to attach a picture and put it on the wall. If you can't do neither one of them, then just take a picture, attach it to a um, private message, and send it to Miranda. Uh, Miranda, Juliana, and Cynthia will be voting on the winner. And again, you'll, the winner will receive a $25 gift certificate to the Etsy store, A Thing for Bling. And oh my gosh, if you haven't been there and seen it, she has the most prettiest rib or laces and trims and some of these appliques. So stop on over even if you don't join the challenge and check out what she has. I altered a brown paper bag for my challenge. I'm going to turn it over real quick. First off, I covered the back with some, um, oh you can't see it, but cardstock on the paper bag to make it a little bit more firmer. Then I added this big giant piece of lace and then I added some trim on there. Let me turn it back over. Then um, after I had my, my flap folded, I covered it with um, like upholstery material. So this is kind of my little crazy quilt um, tapestry or collage altered paper bag, I guess you could say. Now I used various laces and trims and bits and pieces here and there. I used flowers from Hobby Lobby, wedding trim that I had, some flowers I've had for a while from the dollar store. This uh, brown pearls on a rope I got from my wonderful friend Roseanne, Roxy Car 11. This is, um, I think, Brenda Walters' little stamp right there that says family. And I believe I got these from Sawcrafter. I think that's where I got them. And then this is just a stick pen that I received in a stick pen swap for my fun crafts. These little ribbons or trims, I'm sorry, right there. My wonderful free... Oh, I am just having a hard time talking today. My wonderful, sweet friend, Alice, who is the GMA on YouTube, showed us not too long ago. Let me grab the big one so you can see it. I'm sorry for all the moving. But she showed us how to make this gorgeous trim. I'm going to put this big one up here. Is that not just so pretty? And look at the back. So all I did was after I had made the trims, I glued flat back pearls right up the middle. I put some um, recollections flourishes right there and again some of my little pearls here and there. I put a gold tassel on the end. Let me bring that down. Now I just stuck this old um, dress form tag that I had just to show that there's a pocket there. I glued a paper doily down and inked it and made it look distressed. This little flourish right here is actually from a curtain that I just cut out and then put a flat back pearl. And again, you know, a bunch of these trims are just from my stash that I've had from yard sales and flea markets, thrift stores. But here is my altered project. I hope that you enjoy looking at it and I hope you stop by and join the challenge. This is a lot of fun and it can be any altered project I believe so long as you use lace and trims. So thank you for stopping by. Um, have a great day and talk with you later. Bye.